Well, hello. My name is Jeff Williams, and I'm the founder and executive director at Taste Project. Uh, we run a eatery called Taste Community Restaurant. It is a nonprofit restaurant. Um, basically, the way it works is there is no prices on our menu at all. Anybody could come into the restaurant, regardless of their ability to pay, and have a, have a meal. Uh, so this is the restaurant. If you haven't been, I don't know why you haven't. Um, this is what you would see when you come in. So we aim to do three things at Taste. First, we hope to um, provide people the ability to have a restaurant quality meal, regardless of their ability to pay. Um, second, we, we hope that um, people feel welcome and are free of judgment um, based off of their current life situation. But most importantly, we aim to build a community of people with the belief that, founded on the belief that um, people have value and that uh, anyone uh, deserve, everyone deserves, it. no one deserves to be without a meal. Man. So Taste Project exists to combat food insecurity in Fort Worth. Uh, just to define food insecurity for you, food insecurity is a lack of consistent access to enough food for an active or healthy life. This could be for many reasons. It could be economic, it could be mental, it could be geographic. By and large, economic is the number one reason why people are food insecure. Food insecurity doesn't necessarily equal hunger, but hunger is a physical symptom of food insecurity. It's just one of the physical symptoms of food insecurity. There's a common myth around food insecurity and hunger in the United States, and that myth is that food insecurity is an issue that is mainly uh, experienced by people who are homeless or people who are in severe poverty. This is simply not the case. Uh, in, in the United States, 41 million people are food insecure. That's about one out of every six people. In Tarrant County alone, there are 333,000 people who are food insecure, 110,000 of which do not qualify for any government assistance programs and are solely reliant on charitable response, places like food banks and soup kitchens and places like Taste Community Restaurant. Of the food insecure, 90% live in households with at least one working adult. That means that only 10% of those who are food insecure are homeless or suffer from severe poverty situations. So you might be asking yourself, just what type of people are food insecure? Well, it, it's very hard to tell. You would never tell. They're your neighbors, they're your family, they're your friends. They're single moms, they're elderly people who are on fixed income. They are people who have lost their jobs. They are people who, just for one reason or another, find themselves with a decreased um, income earning. I myself have been food insecure. Um, growing up as a kid, my family worked very hard to put food on the table. My dad was a warehouseman for a supermarket. Uh, he was a union employee. And with it being a union, every once in a while, you come around strikes. And that means you're going to be out of work for a period of time. And my parents, during these periods of time, struggled to put food on the table for us, having them themselves having to skip meals so that my sister and I would be able to eat. Uh, I, one of our favorite meals actually to this day was something called diddling soup, something we call diddling soup, which was literally just a can of tomato sauce, dump it into a pan, fill that can with water three times, dump that into the pot, a couple of ounces of what's called a diddling noodles, a short little macaroni, a um, couple slices of green uh, spring onion, and you've got dinner for four for under a dollar. And it's tasty. but. It's not something that could sustain you for a very long time. So that would be an example of what food insecurity looks like in a practical way. That wouldn't be enough food to keep anybody living a healthy and active lifestyle. But mainly what we're trying to do at, at Taste Project is build a community of people. Community of people not necessarily based off of geographic location or the near south side, no matter how much I love it, we're in the near south side. Um, when I say community, I talk about a group of people united by a common identity and our shared interest, a common purpose. St. Augustine had said, since you cannot do good to all, you are to pay 
attention to those who by accidents of time or place or circumstances are brought in closer connection with you. There's very little that we can do on our own. I'm just one person. I do not have superpowers. I, am, I cannot fly. I cannot run really fast. I cannot shoot webs from my fingers. I am a chef. I cook food. I'd like to say that I do it pretty well, but in the scheme of things, it is just how I share a little bit of me with other people. It takes a lot more people and a lot more resources than that to run a restaurant and feed people and reach people in a meaningful way. You have, we have greeters, we have hostesses, we have people that pour drinks, we have servers, we have food runners. In the kitchen, there is onions to be chopped, garlic to be minced, chicken to be braised. It's, it's a full-time job for many, many people. I am just a single piece of the puzzle, and without a community of people, I would be nowhere. We would not be able to serve a single meal from the restaurant. But community is just one thing. There has to be that, that single thing that sort of unites everybody behind a common um, goal. What, what is it that you're building your community off of? At Taste, obviously we're feeding people, so you have to be passionate about that. And, we are, and we're helping people, so you have to be passionate about that. But most importantly, what we're trying to do is show people that they are valued in society. So what we kind of rally around is the idea of charity not in the modern sense of voluntarily giving or performing different humanitarian tasks, but more in the original sense, the word caritas, which is a Christian virtue of loving all humanity. The other, another word for it is agape in Greek. Um, but this is the general principle that all people are, should be loved. All people are loved by God, and all people intrinsically have value within society. Paul tells us, and now abide by faith, hope, and love. These three, but the greatest of these is love. This embodies the idea of what that is. And that, another verse is 1 John um, 4, 8, which tells us, if you do not have love, you do not know God, for God is love. But this is the general um, foundation in which Taste Project builds its community. It is not, Taste Project is just not about feeding as many people as we possibly can for as little money as possible. We aim to provide a place where people who come in feel dignified, feel worthy, and don't feel separated from the rest of society. Regardless of your station in life, you get the same service, you eat the same food, you get the same treatment, and that's what it's really about. And it's showing that people who come in to the restaurant are, are just loved and cared for and know that they're, again, valued. So this community of people who we call Taste Buds, we are currently about 600 strong. And we've, since we've opened December 5th of last year, we've served about 6,000 meals, over 6,000 meals. That's 6,000 meals, um, not donated food but 6,000 meals to people, the same that they would eat if they paid for it, uh, or same as someone who is paying for their meal would eat. And they, and they, didn't, they weren't judged. There's no, there's no um, qualification. You don't have to ask for your meal to be cheaper or free or anything like that. So you might ask yourself, what do I do next? What can I do to help? Well, if you're one of these people who are passionate about seeing people fed, you believe that people have value, um, and you just love food as a whole, then I welcome you to join our community uh, of Taste Buds at Taste Project. But if, you, if you're not, if food's not your thing, and you're just looking for um, you know, a way to reach people another way. Look for a creative way to build a community around something. Look for a common purpose. Get that started. Find the group of people that are going to help you um, 
live out what you do, what, what you want to do. Because it's only as a group of people, only together, that we are able to make a real lasting change in this world. So I urge you to look for community wherever you can and to, in order to aid your fellow man. So thank you for your time. Jeff Williams, Taste Project. If you're interested, this is that. So thank you.